Hey guys, this is Melissa from Starry Family Farm and today I'm going to talk to you about something that you can grow that only takes about one third of an acre and could earn you three figures per year. What is it? Elephant garlic. So as you can see, elephant garlic is garlic but a much bigger version. It's also related to the leek family and so it is milder and sweeter than garlic is. This stuff sells for $8 a pound on the low end. I've seen them online for as much as $25 a pound. And each one of these bulbs is about three-fourths of a pound. So when I heard about elephant garlic, the thing that really drew me in was its nickname. Its nickname is the mortgage lifter, and I'm like, Hey, that sounds awesome. I think I want to try that. But it was not super easy to find elephant garlic seeds. And so I ended up just going online because I couldn't find it anywhere locally. And so I found a grower off of Etsy. I think it was called Caribbean Gardens. And I actually ended up ordering 30 bulbs like this for $300. 30 of these for $300. But if I can make three figures a year planting these, that's nothing. So this box right here is full of elephant garlic. So there's two of these big green bags in here. And this is also heirloom and GMO free. So this is going to be good stuff. Each one of these bulbs has approximately eight cloves in it. So we, when we're going to plant, we're going to tear all the dry stuff off and find the eight cloves, and we're actually going to plant those. And so then each little clove will then turn into a big bulb like this. This is not a get-rich scheme, however. It's going to take... A couple of cycles of multiplying these before I can actually make the big profit on them. Let me show you the math on these. So basically I am starting with 30 bulbs. When those are pulled apart I will have approximately 240 cloves. This spring as soon as the ground warms up and the danger of frost is over, I'm going to then break apart these 30 bulbs and come up with about 240 cloves, each of which I'm going to plant. And these are planted about a foot apart. I will let those grow all spring and summer. Late summer, I'm going to harvest as soon as they are ready. And at that point, I'm going to have 240 bulbs. So then in the fall, I'm going to break apart those 240 bulbs, which will give me about 1,920 cloves. So from those 240 bulbs that I harvested in late summer, break those apart. That'll leave me with 1,920 cloves to plant. Those will sit and grow through the fall, and they will sit in the soil during the winter, which is actually the best time to plant them. And then in the spring, those will be ready to harvest again. At which point we'll have 1,920 bulbs. So then, after I harvest those in the spring, I will plant them again. So I'll be pulling apart these 1,920 bulbs, which will give me roughly 15,360 cloves to plant. So those will grow through the spring and summer. So then late summer, I will then harvest roughly 15,360 bulbs. 
Now this is where I want to be. This is the number of bulbs that I want to have each harvest. So of those 15,360 bulbs, I'm going to save at that point. Back up to here, I'm going to start saving 1,920 bulbs with each harvest. And then I will be selling the rest of those. Which is roughly 13,440 bulbs to sell. And since these are about three-fourths a pound, they would go for about six dollars per bulb. Which would bring us roughly $80,640 from one harvest. And that's on the low end, remember. If you sold these online, you could get much more than this $80,000. But we are not done yet. That is just one harvest. So that fall, we would be planting what we had saved from that harvest, 1,920 bulbs, which equals 15,360 cloves. And again, those would grow through the fall. They'd sit through the winter. Those would be harvested again in the spring. which we would have 15,360 bulbs at that point. We would save 1,920 of those bulbs. We would sell the rest, which is 13,440 bulbs at roughly $6 each on the low end, which gives us another $80,640. which would give us a profit of $161,280 per year for those two harvests. And at this point, we would just be repeating the cycle. So the ones that we saved in the spring, we would replant, we would save this amount again, and it would just go on and on. And this would be what you'd earn every year if you followed this plan. So once you get to the area that you want to be at, the amount of, that you want to produce, you'll be planting 15,360 cloves per cycle. And I figure that out. If I wanted it to be a perfect square, which maybe you wouldn't want it that way, but to be a perfect square, you'd be planting 125 rows with 125 cloves per row. So they are one foot apart. And that gives us a square foot of 15,625, which is roughly one third acre. Spring is right around the corner here in Nebraska. And so we'll be planting these mid-May. So if you wanna follow along with our journey of elephant garlic, then just subscribe and we'll take you through the whole process with us. We are also very active on our Instagram and Facebook pages. So you can follow us there as well. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.